Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thought I'd fire off at a little quick video here. I mostly wanted to try out this new mic cover and just see if I can, uh, how the audio turns out with the really windy weather here. So we'll see, but uh, may as well talk about what's going on in the world. Looks like uh, Biden's been announced as the new US president. Um, it looks also like it will be contested uh, in the Supreme Court. So I guess we'll see how that all plays out. But uh, in a way, in my opinion, it's a little bit of a sad moment. I know there's probably a few Biden fans out there, but uh, <clears throat> in a way, I think Trump would have been the one that uh, would have been willing to kind of fight the China takeover in a way. And I think Biden winning is kind of telling of our times, either that uh, the corporate media and the deep state are actually in a lot more control than we realize, or in fact that people are in favor of Biden and that the, demo the uh, democratic system is actually telling us a reflection of where people are at. And uh, if that's the case, I think it's it's going to be an easy pushover for China. I think it's uh, I don't think the Americans are going to go down with a, you know, blaze of glory. I think it's going to be uh, a little easier of a takeover than many of us were hoping for. So hopefully I'm wrong on that. But I think uh, Biden getting the U.S. Pres presidency is kind of telling of how things might play out. And uh I guess we'll see from here. But the way I see it playing out is there's going to be quite a social divide, even more so than now. But uh, I don't think it's going to be in the sense of left versus right. I think the way it'll play out longer term will be actually in the sense of people kind of in favor of these centralized governments and centralized authority, centralized money planning, all of that. And then I think we'll see the other side of that, which is kind of the counter force to all of that. And that will be the decentralized technology that has emerged and is countering this centralized power that we really haven't been able to fight up until this point. So now that we actually have technology that offers us some solution to this centralized authority and uh, centralized planning, globalist kind of takeover of the world uh, and the financial system and all of that, I think that the technology that's emerging like Bitcoin and decentralization, I think that will continue to develop and be a counterforce to uh, the other side of that coin with centralized power, etc. So I think as they continue to roll out more and more censorship, as the left continue to get their feelings hurt and cry for more control of the narrative and, you know, trying to silence any voice that is counter to their opinion be in fear of getting their feelings hurt or whatever, I think we'll also see the counter force to that of uh, decentralized more and more decentralized platforms emerging where uh, we don't have the likes of Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg who can just control the narrative without question on their platforms and who don't allow uh, an open discussion about these things so the more they continue to censor and control the narrative and all of that, I think the technology will continue to grow and push more of the, the free thinkers and the progressive thinkers of our time to switch platforms and move to other platforms where they're allowed a voice, where they're allowed to be, they're allowed to speak up and we're allowed to have open discussions about what we're being fed, what we're being told. It's, uh, it's a pretty dangerous thing when we start shutting down the debate when we can no longer debate things where we just have to accept what we're being told by the governments it's uh it's it's really going backwards in my opinion we have all of this amazing technology that has emerged and we're seeing kind of some of the pitfalls of it uh, when we look at social media and a lot of the negative effects it's having but i think that there is a positive side to all of this technology and i think that is the uh the decentralized technology that's coming out stuff like bitcoin that's kind of 
uh, a really good example of how we're using this decentralized technology to take the power away from cent some centralized authority who can just control the value of our money, which is at the basis of our entire capitalist society, which has actually offered us the most economic, um, equally distributed wealth ever in history, actually. It's surprisingly, it's done a, a fairly decent job at distributing wealth. We have more middle class people now than ever before in history. Uh, the poverty, the like the dirt poor of poor people earning under a dollar ninety US a day. That that's the average now is, is there's there's almost no one very few earning less than a dollar ninety a day, even though that's a very small number. That is way up from its low not even that long ago. And uh and we have seen a lot of the rise of the middle class and all of that. I think that trend's kind of reversing now. That's the alarming thing. But that's also why more and more people are waking up to what's going on. And we're seeing how basically giving all this authority to some centralized entity and allowing them to control the value of our money, we're seeing the pitfalls of that now with all of this currency debasement and the destruction of the middle class that we worked so hard to create. So I'm very hopeful of the future. I think that uh, decentralization and all of the emergence of this technology will be what uh, saves us. And I don't think it'll save everyone. I think a lot of people are going to just buy into the new system of kind of socialism and communism and give away a lot of their freedoms and their rights and their voices and they're just going to kind of roll over and do what they're told uh, in exchange for you know a universal basic income and they can you know just sit at home and buy into the new uh, central bank digital currency and have the universal basic income deposited in their account and they're not going to ask too many questions they're just that's going to be the easiest road for them and they're not going to want to uh, explore the alternative but then at the same time we have so many people that are so passionate about this decentralization and people that want to take the power into their own hands and stop giving away their power to these false overlords and they're they're creating a new subculture of people that want to you know take back their power they want to create prosperity they want to have a free market capitalist society where there there's uh, value created there, there's an incentive to create value and to me that is so important when when we take that away and everyone just sits on the couch to collect their little universal basic income there's going to be a lot of depression and a lot of people that just don't understand their place in the world they don't really there's no drive there's no incentive there everyone's equal you know you can't you can't have the super genius or the the amazing artist or the really rich and all that they want to just kind of dumb it down and everyone has to be the same and anyone who's you know above the normal is kind of shunned and trying and they they pull them down i mean i don't think it's the way to go but it, it looks like many are wanting more of that kind of a system and uh so i think that's what's going to lead to this divide and i think it's it's there's going to be two sides to this i think we're we're going to see the people that just kind of get pushed down that and they give away all of their liberties and freedoms and uh, kind of their voice and they just they give all that away to the governments and they they just do what they're told and all that and then i think we're going to have more and more people that are waking up as we're as when many of you have probably noticed especially if you're following this channel at all you probably notice how a lot of people are waking up and starting to question the narrative and so i think a lot of people are going to you know go to the other side of the coin where they start warming up to uh, decentralization and they're starting to see the reality that capitalism is not the problem here. It's actually interventionalism or crony capitalism, which is far from true free market capitalism. So I think we will see 
Bitcoin continue to rise in value as people look to flee the US dollar, as it continues to lose its world reserve currency status as China rises and America starts to fall. I think this is the beginning of the end for the American empire. Uh, that is just my opinion. Um, I, I was secretly hoping that Trump would get in and that uh, Trump would make a final stand and, and pull something out of his back pocket and maybe that'll still happen but i think with biden getting in um that it's it's kind of evident how this is going to play out uh and and i'm not i'm not a supporter one way or the other i just kind of had my secret opinion of how i wish this would unfold and uh now i think it's kind of evident the way it's going to go and so now i think the bets are all on i think we're going to see the rise in the value of gold the rise in the value of silver and also in bitcoin as many flee the us dollar because now we're seeing the rise of the the chinese yuan and uh, we're we're going to see the rise of China and I mean it was already happening but I was kind of hoping that America would go down in a blaze of glory and and really make a last stand to try and you know maintain their their uh, their empire but uh, it looks like they're going to just be gently knocked over and it's going to be kind of a more silent China takeover I guess we shall see but uh, yeah, interesting times. I'm just going to be keeping an eye on the charts because I think as the US dollar loses its value and its purchasing power, so will many of the other fiat currencies as these all the governments around the world continue to print their currencies into oblivion, trying to paper over this economic crisis, trying to paper over all of these bad decisions we've made, bad economic policies and centralized planning. We're seeing the pitfalls of all of this now and we're seeing the pitfalls of unbacked fiat currencies and uh, a lot of just, you know, centralized planning and and uh, authority really where these these powers that be are just uh, they're they're secretly stealing all of our wealth and shoveling it into their own pockets and all of that and uh, it's it's kind of a sad sad time in that sense but it's also very exciting because there is that counter force there is the decentralized technology that's taking off and more and more people every day are waking up to it and and jumping on board and learning about these technologies and i think bitcoin is just the start of it i think we're going to see so much in the future become decentralized like our platforms like youtube like facebook like twitter we'll see more and more stuff like that emerge that will be decentralized and and won't be, you know, the narrative won't be controlled by these huge corporate tech giants that get to decide what we can and we can't say. I mean, I, th I think the best way forward and the best way to evolve is to allow all the discussions, everyone's entitled to their opinion. And if it's really that great of science that they have, that great of truth that they're trying to preach it should be able to stand up against all counter science all rebutals everything so if if you're really that confident in your narrative that you're pushing why are you silencing the opposition if it's really that great a science then it should be able to openly uh be able to withstand all logical and scientific attacks on it and that is how truth actually comes to fruition is to be able to withstand all of these rebutals from other great thinkers and that so the moment we start shutting down the the open discussion about this stuff is the moment that we start to lose our liberties and lose our our innovation and our uh, our ability to evolve and to discover truth as we move forward so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you haven't already please like the video subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one